So you can imagine it like this. At this time, these secret societies that were in these various nations of the world had not yet gained full control of the political system of these various nations of the world. An event like this was needed, you know, to give that final push to bring this agenda into the mainstream, to bring all of these leaders on board, to tempt them with this technology, this life extension technology, all of these things that they brought to the table. So the plan was to really bring these nations on the world to work together, whether they were, you know, communist or not, get them to work together for this new world order. And they knew that it wasn't going to take place overnight. They knew that most of these political men from some of these countries had grown up their whole life from boyhood to manhood hating commies. They knew that they just weren't overnight through an alien visitation going to get them to work with commies for a new world order. But they knew that it would eventually take place if they could just expose them to these beings and their deception and their miracles. And it worked. It worked. So one of the things that was necessary was to get these nations of the world through their leaders to change the directions that these nations were traveling and to get them to unify and travel all towards this new world order. They wanted them to stop the way that they were running their country in regards to their population and begin to start thinking about this population reduction program. And it worked. They've accepted it. That's what's happening. And eventually, they wanted them to begin to accept the rule of something that was already in place, but was oh so secretive. And it was already in place running the world from the very darkest corners of it. And this was called this is called something that is known as the Empire of the city. It also has another name, which means Empire of the Black Sun. The symbolism is the same, but this Empire of the City basically is Babylon, and it consists of three parts, and we're going to show it to you here in Revelation. So this agenda is to break down the sovereignty of these nations and begin to get them to accept the plan of this Empire of the City to begin to give up their sovereignty and to accept the rule and the plan of this very special great city. And that ends up being a three-part city. And it is Vatican, London, and the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., the three city-states. Those three together make up something known as the empire of the city. Now you can Google the information for yourself. I don't need to tell you all the ins and outs. It's, it's all right there for you to see. But what it is, is that this is the real control of the planet. That the Vatican controls the spiritual direction. London controls the economical direction. And DC, Washington DC controls the military direction. And all three of those together are formed and it's known as the Empire of the City, which has been in place for a while. Of course, under different organizational names, but as far as I can find, I think that it forms under that name around early 1900. So the plan is, is to get these nations of the world to give up their sovereignty and now to fall to this direction of this Babylon, other words known as the Empire of the City. And that's what's going to connect us back to these real symbols that I showed. So as you can see, Hitler now wants, you know, Nazis, the political party of the Nazis come to rise. Then we see the occultic symbolism and agenda completely take over Germany, completely take over it. And of course, they try to take it over with that symbolism over the whole world. Well, just because Nazi Germany fell doesn't mean that it didn't happen. I'll be back.